hello guys and welcome to my channel today guys we are going on another amazing walk this time we are going from Scarborough all the way to Caton Bay along the Cleveland way yes I can't wait so if you watch this channel you know that previously we went for a walk from Cloughton Wyke all the way to Scarborough that was again along the Cleveland way so today we're just gonna carry on on the Cleveland way trail and just see where this takes us I'm um, looking forward to this. Look at this amazing view here, guys. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? So yes, we are at the South Bay Pool. Uh, this is where we're gonna be starting our walk. We're just gonna troop around and just keep walking down the Cleveland Way until we get to Caton Bay. And um, yes, guys, stay tuned. Hello guys and yes, welcome to IDB Pro Photos, a channel that's dedicated to everything photography. Guys, as you can probably tell, I'm really, really, really excited to be going on this amazing walk from Scarborough all the way to Caton Bay. Wow, isn't today just a glorious day, guys? Come on, just look at the weather. Honestly, things today are just, wow, this is just fantastic start I don't see how things can go south from here wow honestly I'm really excited so guys if you're new to this channel welcome welcome to this channel guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit those notification bells so I can let you know every single time when I upload a new video so just to give you a bit of uh, context of how things work on this channel all we do guys is shoot walk and chat simple no pressure whatsoever um, you know this is not scripted whatever so you know literally uh, as we're just walking along we're just chatting um, you know uh, and I guess guys I like to encourage you really really want to encourage you guys to get involved use the comment section guys use the comment section to talk to each other let's talk guys it's a big community here i like to go out and about as much as possible say i live in scarborough and scarborough is caked literally there are tons and tons of different walks uh, that you can go on um, so if you watched um the previous um episode of talking around with idb pro photos you know that we went for a walk from clout on wike all the way to Scarborough so again that was four miles of walking chatting and taking photographs so today guys we are carrying on on the Cleveland Trail and just keep going south yes we are going to Caton Bay hopefully one of these days guys we're gonna go from Caton Bay to Filey which is where the Cleveland Trail ends so yes guys just buckle up and let's have some fun honestly I, I can't believe today I mean look how quiet the beach is I mean usually honestly usually if you come to Scarborough you never guaranteed this much quietness no this is just because we are in the middle of a pan pandemic lockdowns um, so people are not really allowed to come to our town um, so yeah, so there you go. Like I said this is gonna be the first photograph that we take uh, today. So let's say, look, no pressure. Just taking photographs. They don't have to be the best photographs in the world either. You know, it's. Um, I literally just took my camera out today. Um, no tripod. Um, so I mean, hey, hi. Let me just tell you a little bit about the equipment that we're going to be using today so i am shooting with a sony a7r2 yeah and i've attached a 35 mil sigma art lens f 1.4 lens this lens is sharp as anything it's amazing absolutely amazing guys so yes i've not brought any tripods or anything my style of shooting on these sort of things is just literally walk and shoot this is just meant to be fun um you know so Again, you know, I, 
I don't really want to overcomplicate things, bring tripods and, and all this kind of stuff, you know. I shoot wide open at f1.4 all the way. And also, also, uh, I've got the camera set in aperture priority, okay. The reason why I've done that is because I'm going on a walk. I want to enjoy the scenery just as much as you do. So last thing I want to do is faffing around with the camera, trying to change the settings, you know, shutter speed, uh, ISO, you know, I just want to shoot and walk and enjoy the scenery. So I put the camera in that I'm sure see, you know, this is what you pay a lot of money for. Let the camera do the thinking. I'm going to focus on enjoying the walk. gonna do guys we're just gonna speed things up a little bit as we're going up uh, the hill uh, because I say I don't want to subject you to minutes of torture just listening to me um, breathing quite heavily so yeah let's make our way up the hill
so yeah guys just to give you a bit of a, a, a little secret in how i film this sort of thing so uh believe it or not i actually walked this walk twice twice on two separate occasions so the first time i was recording what you're looking at right now which is a gopro on my chest uh just showing you you know me walking and taking photographs and so on and so on and then on a different day i came back and did the b-roll the b-roll which is when i'm just walking around and didn't actually bring the equipment i had and i just film all the little bits to add to make it more interesting right guys i'm not even going to pretend to you that was one hell of a climb <laughs> wow if you're gonna try if you're gonna want to do this walk Make sure you've had your breakfast, your lunch, or your dinner, your tea, your supper. Wow. <laughs> Boy, that was one hell of a climb, but you know what? It's worth it. So anyway, let's carry on, guys. Let's carry on with the walk. Absolutely amazing. You know, the weather's just absolutely amazing, literally. It's on our side today, so we should get some nice views of the sea, uh, just general stuff that you like to to look at. So yeah, let's keep going, guys. So anyway, just to kind of add to what I was saying before about the B-roll, so yes, I come here on a different day and I film the B-roll. Um, and uh, one thing guys, I'm going to set you a little task, okay? Use the comment section um, and, uh, you know, just type in um, the time code when you notice something that's a little bit off key. I mean, what I just wanted to pick out, if you do notice that, yes, I do try and pick a day that's quite similar um to the day when i filmed uh the main footage okay but obviously you're not really guaranteed that the clouds are going to be in the same place or that the tide in this situation the tide is going to be um the same sort of if it's in that it's going to be in as well so these things do change all the time um you know so obviously i can always try and make sure that um i start the walk run about the same time and as, as i did um, the previous uh, day uh, the, or the time when I went in for the for the main footage but obviously bear in mind we are getting closer to summer so the um, the time the time is moving forward a bit so you might find that your sunset uh, was um, 4 30 a few weeks ago and now it's 5 30 so that's how you got you got to be to be mindful of those sort of things so you don't want to leave it uh, too late to do your b-roll and also you can forget you can forget which bits you filmed or you did certain things because you've got to always try and make sure that you emphasize certain things that you're probably talking about at that point and so anyway um so yeah i want you to see if you can find guys i want you to see if you can um spot any inconsistencies between the b-roll and the main footage okay i'll give you one clue uh, as i said before it's the the tide look at the tide and also look at the clouds. Um, that might be able to give you some, some little pointers. Just a fun little game. But as I say, hey, it is all fun and games. So, you know, a lot of work does actually go into uh, producing a video like this, I must say. But, you know, I enjoy it. I enjoy it just for you guys. So, yes, abuse the comment section, guys. 
if you've walked this trail before share your favorite bits share the bits that you hate you know let's chit chat you know this is what this is all about Right. Hi. And then I, I need to add that people, people you meet on these trails, they are the most friendliest of people ever. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not that? When you got beautiful weather, yeah, you got beautiful scenery. I mean, why would you be? unfriendly they just been to be the happiest of people ever um so yeah um guys absolutely absolutely highly highly recommend uh, this this walk uh but to be expected there's a lot of mud very very boggy very boggy um this uh trail so i'd say wear the right footwear but in usual fashion in my description i will tell you guys what shoes i wear when i'm out and about um as i say nothing too extravagant 70 pounds is what i spent on my walking boots and i've not looked back since so yes guys let's keep going So yes, um, I remember walking along uh, here. Um, I had to make sure that um, um, I tried to fit in um, this incredibly brave um, thing which I witnessed um, on this trail. I'll show you very shortly. Um, yes, it's absolutely insane. I mean, I would not be able to do it. It's absolutely insane. What this lady did on this trail absolutely blew my mind. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. Right, guys, I'll just just hold, hold, hang on. Just just keep watching the video. Um, yes, um, she's incredibly incredibly brave. I mean, the one thing that I really like about um, exploring or going on walks like this or going on a walk that you've never gone on before um, it's just the unknown I love that the sense of surprise it's like you every corner that you take you make a corner it's like this is new you know it's just excitement you get excited because you're discovering new things and to me that's absolutely amazing. There we go. Yes, so we are getting into Osgobi, uh, which is 
a nice little uh, area um, south of Scarborough. Really, really nice. Got this lovely golf course on the right side, but um, yeah, it's really nice. Very well kept. Um, uh, maybe I should have done a little bit of research for you guys. Maybe if you are into into golf, but it is a very very nice golf course. You know, th this is the um, the thing about walking along the um, the Yorkshire coast. It's just you know, you look at look at the sheer drop. Literally, the, the cliff just literally drops, and you know, one silly mistake, you know, you could potentially um, uh, fall, uh, you know, uh, down the cliff. Um, but no, it's um, it's beautiful. It's you almost feel like like you're gonna take off and fly. You know, it's um, it's a sort of feeling. You know, when you've got the the wind almost kind of uh, blowing sort of in your face and um, it's, uh, it's such a fantastic, fantastic feeling. I can't really explain it, you need to really experience it. Um, it's just a fantastic, fantastic feeling. Now, this is the bit that I was talking about. There's a young lady, you're going to see in a minute, she's just perched on the edge of the cliff. It's just perched on there like... <laughs> Like a little seagull, like a like a bed of prey. Just you know, I'm just like, wow, she's so brave. It's and it's one of those things you look at and you think, oh, you know, there's there's a lot of, you know, the, these cliffs are constantly subsiding, and uh, you know, what if you sit in there, and um, lo and behold, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> your weight gives, um, sorry, the cliff uh, gives into your weight, and, and before you know it, you. You're, you're swimming with the fishes. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's 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 um, impressive. Now I was really impressed, to be honest. Really, really impressed. Now she's a she's a little daredevil, little daredevil. So as you can see in the distance there, um, that's where Caton Bay is. So we've still got a bit of a walk to be honest. Uh, you know, we're probably talking about maybe another hour. Um, obviously, you know, when you factor in, you know, stopping to take photographs and everything like that, um, obviously that sort of eats into, um, you know, the, 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 the duration of the actual walk. So, you know, Give or take, I think you'd probably do this walk in about 45 minutes, in my opinion. But hey, I could be wrong. Um, you know, put it down there. If, you, if anybody's uh, has actually done the walk without having sort of any lot of pit stops and things like that, you know, just use the comment section below and just tell us some uh, actual facts and how long it takes um, from Scarborough to um, uh, Caton Bay on a good day. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear what you guys have to say. But just, just look at the sunshine. Just glorious absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful
you know what? I still can't get over the fact that today is such an amazing day. The weather is just, oh, just amazing. Honestly, so, sorry, so muddy here. Just kind of threw me off, threw me off my tracks a little bit. Damn. I'd say, look, seriously, if you're considering coming here on a walk, make sure that you're wearing the correct footwear for this because it is really really fun very muddy and you could easily slip and fall like honestly it's just make sure you wear the right footwear but as usual I will put in my description the footwear that I wear when I come on such walks uh, and you know not exactly something that's gonna break the bank it's only like 70 quid <laughs> but um, yeah it does the job I suppose oh, God oh, this is very stressful times for somebody who's got knee problems like me but yeah we still carry on but you know it's just I just think you know given everything that's been going on in the world you know with the coronavirus and all of a sudden we've got this amazing you know the sunshine it just kind of brightens up everything doesn't it it really does and uh, I'm glad that I could bring you guys out here so you can see this beautiful scenery um, amazing absolutely amazing so um just to let you know i've got in <laughs> one hell of a climb it's actually worse than the one that we that we witnessed before this is honestly the mother mother of all climbs honestly this i'm gonna <laughs> i think i'm just gonna turn around and go home to be honest mm -mm. Mm. okay look at that probably see just this bit that we've got people right there there, there. Look, see people well apparently the trail the Cleveland way trail it says you've got to go that way so I'm gonna have to go that way All right guys have some fun I'm gonna speed up things a little bit because let's face it I don't want your tea hear me like breathing in my usual fashion <laughs> oh my god this is insane right anyway guys buckle up we're gonna split things up a little bit I made it. I made it, people. Wow. Oh. I feel like that pigeon is congratulating me. Wow. wow I'm sorry about it I can't help it but yeah let's carry on guys let's carry on uh, we're not far from Caton Bay I'll have you know uh, so yeah we're gonna go have a little play around on the beach and stuff uh, such a cute little beach to be honest it's like a nice little cove uh, it's really cool, really cool, really cool. <sighs> wow. Sorry, I'm still trying to catch my breath. 
Oh my god. So yeah guys, not far from Caton. Uh, I'm just gonna speed things up a little bit again. guys so now what you can see to my right side that's Oscar Bay which is a beautiful beautiful uh, southern uh, part of uh, Scarborough which is very nice very up market um, so yeah guys um, just out of interest where are you watching this video from yes yeah, so it'd be quite interesting guys to to hear from everybody just use the comment section yeah. and tell us where you are watching this video from uh, I know that people descend uh, to the Cleveland Way trail from all walks of life from all over the world uh, so yes it'd be interesting to um, to hear your stories experiences um, I mean I, I did do some research um, on, uh, on YouTube resource to see what sort of videos are out there um, you know where people are sort of you know, walking the uh, the Cleveland way. It's quite a few. It's quite a few, I must say, and uh, uh, all of them very positive. And it looks like people seem to really, really, really enjoy 
walking on um, on this trail so so yes guys share your experiences with us tell us which bit you really like um quite um quite a lot uh, more than others um and um if i must say uh it is uh something that i'd like to do i just want to carry on from Caton bay all the way to filey next time um when i go on this oh my god i thought i thought that was a snake <laughs> I actually thought that was a snake um, but yeah wow oh god just imagine if that was actually a snake I would have died but you know that is one of my biggest fears in life honestly that is it snakes I can't deal with snakes that is my worst phobia I'm not scared of spiders I'm not scared of lizards all that kind of stuff I'm not scared of snakes I can't deal with snakes and frogs snakes and frogs um yeah no frogs they, they, they do freak me out when i see frogs in the garden and stuff like right? yeah um and isn't it ironic that snakes love frogs <laughs> oh god you know I, I remember watching a video some time ago where a snake was uh eating a frog oh my god to me that was just overload i couldn't deal with it couldn't deal with it um so yeah no um it takes me back to some time ago when i was a uh, when i was at school uh, i think i was in high school then and uh, we went on a school trip to a uh, to a zoo <laughs> and uh yes so the whole class is there not just not just my class because it was actually uh, the whole of um the, the whole year um students um you know sort of make some and uh, as part of the activities of of the day um we had to have a snake uh this big uh um albino python uh put around um, our necks and i remember i was mortified was waiting in a queue you know the queue is slowly getting shorter as you get closer to the front and i was thinking <sighs> The, the worst thing about it, we were not even warned. There was no warning. There was no consent form that was filled in before that. Otherwise, I would have told my mom to say he's allergic to snakes or something. So I would have been taken off the list. But no, it just happened. And I do remember they tried to put that snake on my around my neck like a necklace. Oh my God, I jumped. I, I, I just, I, I just didn't care whether my friends were gonna laugh at me or not. I literally legged it couldn't deal with it couldn't deal with it no shame whatsoever and no regrets my only regret was going on that school trip wow not running away from the snake <laughs> oh yes use the comment section guys tell us your biggest phobias what are you scared of yes don't be embarrassed we're not gonna judge you <laughs> i bet you guys are judging me anyways you never look at me the same again oh dear <laughs> i'll have you know i do not care <laughs> oh yes can't deal with snakes so yes oscarby guys we are in oscarby and uh, we are slowly uh, moving towards um uh, Caton bay um so absolutely absolutely beautiful beach you know, guys i can't wait to show you this beach this is one hell of a beach caton bay is amazing and you know what it's 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 almost like the the carrots on a stick you know that's the carrots on a stick caton bay caton bay beach honestly it's worth the wait you will not be disappointed absolutely gorgeous so i'm telling you if you're planning to switch off this uh, video stay tuned stay tuned because the view is impeccable absolutely beautiful breathtaking if you've ever been to Caton bay you will know what i'm talking about this place is immaculate it's amazing i love it i love it i love it so stick around guys stick around and let's uh keep watching
So guys, just went on information. We are now in Oscar Bay. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Look at the view behind me. Take a look at that. That is, that is a dream. <laughs> that is a dream view, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. So yeah, no, we're not really far from from Caton Bay now. Uh, so buckle up, guys. Keep watching. Uh, look, you know, if you've walked this, if you've walked the Cleveland Way before, and I uh, would like to hear some of you just just in the comment section, tell us how you've. Uh, what you've enjoyed, what you've hated, just to experience this will be enough. So yeah guys, be sure to subscribe and follow my channel and uh, we'll get you more content like this. There we go. Yes guys, the Cleveland Way. So that way, back to Scarborough. So yeah, we're making good progress guys. Uh, if I'm being honest, there isn't really much to look at at the moment because to my left side here, there's quite a lot of, I think it's um, holiday homes or, you know, accommodation for the elderly. Um, but we are still slowly making progress. So shortly, I'm gonna get to show you guys the view of Scarborough from where I am right now, Oscar Bay. There we go guys, you ready? Get yourselves ready for this guys, this is beautiful, you ready? There we go guys. Days like this where you just feel like you just you just need to appreciate life isn't it I mean really this is unbelievable you know ev given everything that we've gone through guys you know with the coronavirus and you know lockdowns and everything and all of a sudden we get some hope about how things are going to be opening up very soon and you get some amazing you get this amazing sunshine. <laughs> right, I'm trying to keep a straight face, but the sun is actually literally beaming straight into my eyes. But we carry on. Hey, this is what exploring is all about. I'll tell you something. This is this is the first time I've actually came on this trail. I've never done it before. First time literally just went on Google Maps and I had always been quite curious about how to get to Caton from Scarborough. I said that I live in Scarborough and I used to work for one of the popular car rental companies based in Osby in Scarborough. I always wondered how do you get Caton from Scarborough avoiding all the busy traffic and we're finding out together guys we found out together there you go 
so yes guys now we're just on the on the main road uh, so we're just gonna speed things up uh, there's really nothing interesting to look at at the moment so yeah let's go
there we go. So if you look to your left there, guys, that's where we're going to be heading to. I'll um, just take a quick photograph for you. Um, but it is very, very beautiful. Obviously, um, given the fact that um, we're not yet, we've not yet hit the holiday season, uh, it's going to be uh, very, very quiet uh, down there. Um, uh, so, no, be. Um, you know, I can certainly tell you that if it was during the, the, the summer holidays and if we didn't have all these lockdowns in place, um, it would be a completely um, different story. Um, so yeah, I'll share your experiences guys, if you've ever been to Caton Beach, you know that part of the beach, what's it actually called to be honest? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not called Caton Bay. Um, be interesting to, to hear from you guys well, what's it called this um, this cove um, right here um, it'd be nice to hear from you guys use the comment section abuse it comment 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 and share your knowledge guys so we are slowly but surely uh, getting close to uh, Caton Bay so you can see just the buildings up ahead I'll just show you in this photograph here Looking 
Guys, isn't today just such a glorious, glorious day? This is just unbelievable. Um, you know, th there's no way I was gonna stay in the house. You know, th 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 you know when you when you're blessed with such um, you know beautiful walks, um, scenario, such fantastic weather. I think it's a slap in the face to uh, Mother Nature not to go out and enjoy the. <laughs> the, the beautiful day you know um, but yeah I'm just gonna uh, get you guys have a look have a look have a look at that <laughs> anyway guys yes we're just gonna uh, speed things up a little bit again um, and uh, make our way down to um, uh, to the beach um, so we can make our way to to the cove uh, as I said before if you know the name of this cove use the comment section guy use the comment section and share your knowledge tell us the name of the cove it's absolutely guys yes we are slowly slowly um, getting to our intended um, destination uh, as you can see look at that it's like you've got the sunshine just hitting the peak of the uh, the cliff right there and uh, it just looks so so majestic it's uh, absolutely glorious um, so yes uh, I can't wait to take you guys and show you around uh, this beautiful, beautiful place. And just for your own information, guys, this is the first time, first time I've come to this beach. Uh, yes, I have certainly driven past uh, Caton Bay. Um, as I mentioned before, I used to work for one of the popular car rental companies in Scarborough. And uh, obviously we used to drive uh, between Scarborough, Bridlington, quite a lot so I used to go past Caton, Caton Bay but um, as um, this walk I've never been here before this is the first time um, I'm discovering um, these 
these views and if I'm being honest with you there was actually a quicker way to get to this uh, part of the the beach without having to kind of go all the way down to Kate and Kate and Bay um, so again I found this out on my way back and I found out that I could have just gone down some steps and um, and uh, yes that would have kind of led me um, uh, straight to, to the beach so yes when we get to right here if I turn left up there that'll take me back to the main road uh, but yeah this would have just brought me straight here but hey I didn't know this is what adventure is all about you know make mistakes you find things out they go oh, I wish I knew but you know you'll know for next time this is why I'm doing this video to help you guys make the right decisions next time when you try and go on a similar walk with your family with your dog with your friends with your other half you name it this trail is absolutely spot on I think it's absolutely perfect you can see um, yes it would be probably be tricky if you were to try and bring like a pram or something like that it would be this right here um, as you can see this bit here actually fell because you can tell I'm um, um, this very very slippy terrain here I must say and uh, I lost my balance um, as uh, I tried to, um, to, to, to to grab onto one of the trees as I was sort of making my way uh, down there Would have, would have actually been a lot easier on the way. Look at that view.
down.
guys we are almost coming to the end of our video honestly this has been one hell of a day out and uh, i hope you guys have really enjoyed uh this video you know guys all i can say is thank you thank you so much uh for sticking around and uh, um sharing this amazing journey with me all i can say guys use the comment section give us your thoughts if you've got any suggestions places you'd like me to visit and film and, and photograph i'm more than happy to take your suggestions and if i can do it i'd love to give it a go guys thank you so much for watching guys if you don't already do guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so i can let you know every single time when i upload a new video a lot a lot of work goes into um creating these videos for you guys and it would really mean the world to me if you just hit the uh, subscribe button share with your friends and family and uh, uh, help our small channel grow as i say pretty new to to youtube uh so yeah guys thank you thank you so much for watching and um yes keep watching Alright, Paul.